All right, so Lily, could you just introduce yourself really quickly and um, talk about the program that you did and uh, why you chose that program as well? Yeah, so my name's Lily Nelson. My pronouns are they, them. I'm 17 years old. I'm a junior at a high school in uh, San Diego. And last summer in 2021, I did the uh, Session B Western Colorado Amigos program. And um, it was one of the coolest experiences of my life. I learned a lot about the environment, about the people who live in Colorado and about myself and about the friends I made. And um, I ended up choosing that program because I, I wasn't comfortable with my Spanish capabilities. And I liked the idea of being able to travel somewhere, meet new people, and um, go to you know go to new places, be on my own, and learn a lot about the environment without having the Spanish requirement. Totally. Um, and can you talk a little bit about kind of the program model and so like a brief overview of some of the things that you did or your favorite things that you did? Yeah. So the first uh, six days that we were there was our quarantine period. We um, stayed at like a summer camp place. We were all in like different bunks, different rooms and stuff. And that was a lot of team bonding and guidelines. That first week, you know, we did a ropes course. We did an escape room. We played a lot of cards. We got, you know, do the icebreakers and get to know each other and stuff. And then we also went through like Amigos protocols and the expectations and then also introduction to like the curriculum that we would be, the curriculum that we would be learning about, you know, environmentalism and, um, like cultural immersion and stuff. And then the next two weeks was the rest of the program was um, we would travel, we would stay at a place for like five, six, four to five to six days. Um, and at that place, we would have a few service days, you know, so we would go, our service days included, we did a trail maintenance day, we did some farm work, we did some work at a community garden, we did natural water testing, and we got to go to a burning area and um, learn about the fires and throw seed balls to uh, regrow in that area. And all of these were set up so we would have some time for service, and then we would have a more educational period where the whoever, like whatever guest speaker or the um, employees there would kind of talk to us about the program that they have there and what we would be doing and how it helps the environment, how it helps the people in Colorado and that kind of stuff. And then on off days, we would go into town, explore whatever town we were in. We would, you know, go on hikes. We would just hang out back at the place and we would do activities with like privilege and identity or just kind of like team bonding stuff. We, one of the places we stayed had a hot spring. We spent a lot of time in the hot springs. And um, yeah, that was kind of the general format of it. That's awesome. Um, and then, so can you talk also a little bit about um, going to the Ute Mountain Tribal Park? And oh yeah. As well. So that was my favorite day of the program. It was prefaced with going to Mesa Verde, which is similar location, you know, you're viewing the Puebloan ruins, but through a national park, very, you know, there's, you have to be led through tours, you, um, you know, everything, like, things are, like, closed off, you can't touch certain things and stuff, and then, so that was one day, and then the next day, we went to U Mountain Travel Park, which is a U-owned uh, park set of land that um, has a lot of Pueb Puebloan ruins on it as well, and the tour was just a very different experience and a very new experience for all of us, we were led by our tour guide, Wolf, who um, basically just took us on like a driving tour. We'd drive for a few minutes, he'd stop, he'd take us out and um, tour whatever area we were in. And it was really, really neat because in especially in comparison to Mesa Verde, like we, there was a place we stepped up to where he just let us out and it was just a like whole just field full of pottery shards because that had just like washed out over the years and stuff. And, you know, you weren't really supposed to step on them, but like, we didn't have to stay back. We were allowed to walk through it and he would pick up things and show us the things and stuff. And it was just a much more like personal and close experience. We got to hike to a ton of Puebloan ruins and tour them. He showed us a Kiva and a medicine pot that was still buried there. And all while teaching us kind of the history of the people there and also the history of his people and just kind of native people in the land and stuff. And it taught me a lot. And he talked a lot about um, like land rights and stuff and who owns the land, um, who gets to live there and that kind of thing. And there was a very 
uh, impactful quote that he said, this is something along the lines of like, if archaeologists, if we were archaeologists and we, would, we were here, we would have a field day, but we're not. It's not our stuff. It's not our land. So we don't touch it. We leave it alone. We leave it at peace like nature intended. And I thought that just kind of summed up very well a lot of like land policy and uh, native policy. And it's, a, I mean, it's important thing to be able to leave people's items and um, people's history alone and let it be, which was just really, really cool. And it was very different from anything I experienced before, so much more real and personal than like seeing something in a museum and it gained, it gave me a lot of perspective. That's so awesome. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, and then can you, was it anything that you were like nervous about or can you talk about like meeting the other people in the group um, and kind of like how you all got to know each other as well? Yeah, so I was I was really, really nervous for the meeting people because, you know, I've been in quarantine for a year. I'm like, I haven't had a real social interaction in so long. And I was like, you know, what if you don't get along with them? What if they're just like not your kind of people, that kind of thing. But um, the way, and I think we were all feeling that. And the way we got over that, I think was through just, I mean, like you spent six days with each other, not really going anywhere. And our big thing was card games. <laughs> We played so many card games in such a short span of time and like you know it's a good bonding activity because you have something to focus on you don't have to talk if you don't want to but then you can talk get to know people and our volunteers were really good about encouraging like we do like the name games we do icebreakers and stuff and um it was just we we spent a lot of time together in that short amount of time and like we did activities and stuff together too, where we get like get to know each other activities. We did an escape room, we did a ropes course. And so like all of a sudden we had to rely on each other to do these ropes courses and stuff. And so I was really, really nervous. I was like, what if I, you know, what if I don't make friends and stuff? But immediately everyone else is just as nervous as you. No one else there knew each other. So yeah, everyone else is just as willing to make friends and get to know people and stuff. And I mean, like, I was like, I like these people. These are gonna be my friends for a really long time, like by the first day. Cool. Um, and then can you talk about just kind of like, since you've been back, what have been your biggest takeaways or things that have stuck with you mm -hmm. doing it? Um, one of my big things, especially in California, um, was learning all the stuff about like wildfires because Colorado and California have very similar situations and learning um, a lot of the policies that they're putting in place and seeing how it's being transferred to California is being able to see news about like wildfires and stuff and be like, oh, that thing happened in Colorado, you know, this is how they're probably working to solve it. Um, just kind of like respecting and helping the nature around me. So like now, um, one of the, ex said earlier, one of the activities we did was throwing the seed balls to help regrow plants in areas knowing that that's something that they do in Colorado and they also do it in California. So coming home and knowing if I go on a hike in a burn area, that's something I can do. That's how I can help kind of thing. Um, and I've stayed in contact with quite a few of the people in my program. So just like checking up with them and getting to know them and stuff has been really cool. And um, just kind of in my community, like I've looked at volunteering at a few community gardens. I was able to get recruitment to my school and get more people interested in stuff and just kind of looking at the world with a different perspective, both from a, an environmental standpoint and looking at how I can help the environment, the things I can do in my city alone, and um, just kind of keeping an open mind about the people I meet as well. That's awesome. Cool. Um, is there anything else that you want to talk about or like make sure um, somebody who is interested in this program, what would you maybe say to them? Yes. Uh, my biggest things, kind of as I said earlier, Number one, you're going to make friends. Don't worry about it. It's not going to be a problem. You guys are all going to get to know each other really well. Um, number two, bring a lot of sunscreen and bring a lot of warm weather clothing. Number three, uh, be ready. We never had like, it, it wasn't super difficult labor that we were doing, but we went on a lot of hikes and we did a lot of like six hour days of work. So you're going to get tired and it's, it's a physical aspect to it. So just be prepared for that. And just keep an open mind about what you're doing and you know you might not be super interested in everything that we're doing or like the lessons and stuff but you're going to learn so much and you're going to meet so many cool people and go to so many cool places and it's absolutely worth it perfect well thank you so much of course yeah